Hello, I'm Marcus Boyce from BoyceBrothers.com and welcome to another episode of Lord Splod Shorts. In this screencast we're going to take a look at Instapaper for the iPad. Let's get started by launching Instapaper. Now I've launched it before so it's taken me to a previous article so let's go back okay, to the read later folder where your articles go by default. Let's look at this one. As you can see, you can scroll down and up using the default iPhone and iPad flick to scroll actions. You can also click at the top and either go back to the top of the page, like so, or you can click at the top to see the top and then return to current position. In the top right corner of the screen is a pagination button which lets you read the article by changing pages by clicking left or right on the screen to change page. You can change it back to the normal scroll by clicking the button again. Ok, I'm going to go back to articles. And I'm going to move this item that I've previously moved. I'm going to move it back into the read later folder. So click the move icon. Read later. There it goes. Now let's move it back. So into the read later. Select the article. Click the arrow, move to folder, and I'm going to select the OS 10 folder I created. You can also star an item so you can read it offline or share with others. There's my starred articles. Okay, there's options like brightness, you can change the font. There's six fonts. You can make the font larger and smaller. Increase the or increase or decrease the indent and increase and decrease the line spacing. There's a button to reset it all back. There's also a dark interface option for reading at night. It gives you black background and white text. You can share articles by email, Tumblr, or post to Twitter. You can open it in an inbuilt browser and in its paper that lets you see either the full article as it would appear on the internet, or just the text of the article. Now let's say I want to get more articles into it. So to do that, you go to Safari and you install the read later bookmark as described on Instapaper's website. Once you've done that, so I want to store this article of OS 10. Click on the bookmarks, click read later. Now this is the first time I've used it on this iPad. Okay, I've signed into Instapaper and there's the article about OS 10 from the Wikipedia. I can read it online if I want to. But I'm going to go back into Instapaper, open it up, Instapaper does a refresh, and there you go, Mac OS 10 Wikipedia article has appeared. I can read it just as before, in a nice, easy to read fashion. I can star it. Right, I'm going to turn off Wi-Fi and cellular data to show you the main and most important feature of Instapaper and that's the ability to read articles offline. So now I have no access to the internet. Here's my article on OS 10. I can read at my leisure and the same goes for the other articles that I've saved onto my Instapaper. That's great and thank you for watching.